Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to show you and go over this Hooked on Phonics reading um, set, reading curriculum. This is what we used for Gloria was since we started homeschooling back, if I remember correctly, it was 2016-2017 school year. She was only about maybe four, I don't even remember. Yeah, she was four years old. So we went really slow. I think the first year we, did, we really didn't even use it until the following year when I felt like she was more um, mature enough and just ready to just focus a little bit longer than, than when she was four years old. So I don't, we need to start her right at four. So anyway, let's get on, on topic. Grab yourself a cup of coffee or some tea or a snack or whatever you want. And let's go over this Hooked on Phonics. Okay, so. When I ordered this years ago, uh, I ordered the whole box. This comes with four sets. Each is color coded. You have the red one, the, the purple one, then it's the green one, and then it's the blue one, which is she's finishing up this summer. And each set is a different level. Obviously, the first level will be the red, the red set. I'm gonna change my battery really quick because it's about to die. Okay, so the first um, box that you will find in the Hooked on Phonics curriculum box is the red one. And the red one is the pre-K level workbooks. It comes with the flashcards. And this is the uh, pre-K level one flashcards. These are the uppercase letters with pictures on one side and the letter on the on one side. So this is what you get. Let me take them out so you can see. I'll take a few out. Come on. They're very stuck. Anyway, here we go. Whoops. So here's like the uppercase M. And then behind it, there's a picture of a mouse. So what we would do with Gloria every morning, we would go at least once through the whole stack of letters saying the name of the letter, the sound of the letter, and the picture in the back. And that's how she um, learned her sounds when we first started this, this Hooked on Phonics curriculum. So you get, you get the uh, uppercase letters, and then she also got the lowercase letters. Same format, a letter on one side, and the picture on the other side, and we would also do um, name of the letter, the sound, and then the picture. And that's how she started to learn all her sounds. So then after that, we would do our workbook and we would just do one lesson a day. And this one, the very first one, was just learning the alphabet and the sounds uh, through rhyming and just reviewing each, each, uh, each lesson. Here's the letters, we would sing the ABCs. She would do a little rhyming. Um, with words and uh, she did write on this one. After you did each lesson, there is a sticker page that you do get in each of the boxes. And after she was done, she would pick a color of a sticker and she would put it right there to show that she did it. And she was always excited to pick a star when finishing the, um, the lesson. So level one is basically just learning how to write the letters and learning all the sounds. As you can see here, learning all the letters and all the sounds. And so this is what level one was. And we got through this one. Once, once I felt that she got all her sounds and letters, we didn't really finish this whole, this one, because you can see there's no stickers here. We moved on to the next level. Which should have been level two here, but we skipped this one as well. We didn't, because there's no stickers, so I can, I can tell you that we did not move on to this one. She just picked up on her sounds and letters pretty quick. And uh, we skipped this one. We didn't use this one. So that was the first level, which would be the pre-K. Again, we started her very late. She was almost five years old uh, when we started. She was four when we started homeschooling. I waited 
or maybe she we did start when she was four. I don't even remember, honestly. <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest with you. I don't remember. Maybe we maybe we did start, and that's why we didn't finish it. But she did pick up on her sounds. Okay, so then the next one would have been the purple, the purple workbooks on Hooked on Phonics. And the purple workbook comes with all these little books to practice her reading and the workbooks. And she got to read all of these little books and they were very, very easy. And each, um, the workbooks will tell you what book to read next because each book has a different uh, sound or combination of sounds that she's learning to read. So then they give her the little book to practice her reading and she would read these little books. Very easy. See this, this one was the, the short A sound for rats. And so this one was that. Then this backpack. And then there's cat. This is Ted. There's tag. So it was just a, a series of little books that she got to read. As you can tell, you can tell the sound that she would be working on in that lesson. Fun in the sun. So this was, this was the short U sound. And she got to read these uh, very simple, quick and easy uh, books that she was able to read and very fun to look at the pictures. She enjoyed the pictures. And so this is what she would read. And um, Tim and Sam. So you get the kindergarten level one workbook and the kindergarten level two workbooks. And it's the same uh, format, one lesson a day. We would just do one lesson every single day. And now they're putting sounds together in this, in this one. Uh, and to make words. Very, very simple, easy to do. One lesson a day, no part, very little preparation, literally no preparation actually. And so this is what she did. And every time she finished, she would do a star. I guess sometimes we missed to put, we forgot to put the star there, but. Um, it looks like we forgot to put a lot of stars. But yeah, we did use this one. I can tell you that. I don't know why we didn't put stars. Here's a star in the last one when we finished it. Okay, so <clears throat> this was workbook level one and then we moved on to workbook level two. I'm sorry, I have like the worst camera angle. And again, it comes with the, the sheet of star stickers to put complete on the lessons that she completed. And this one again, has more sounds. Here is the star. And uh, they're very simple stories to read. It gives you here what she can play on or what other games she can play on on the DVDs that it comes with. Also comes with two DVDs. They're in the box in here. And you just put them into your, your computer and play them. Or you can also use the app. And here it is. Here's another story. She got to read all these little stories way back when we started this Here's a little star where she completed that lesson and it was just one lesson every single day sometimes it was just one half a lesson a day like we would just go one page a day because that's just the attention span that she had and that was just the patience that i had so we don't go at their level or my level we go at we go at our level and what we can do for the day so that was the purple book with all the little books. After certain lessons, it will tell you to, it would, It says to read a certain book. So let me just show you an example here. Right, here it is. So here's one lesson. At the end, it says to read this book. And so Gloria got to read that book. She would read it to me and then she would read it to her dad. And that's how we moved on. After this purple set, she moved on to the green set. Ta-da! And also comes with two workbooks and all the little books that she gets to read. And now they're getting a little bit harder with more words to read. Um, very pretty pictures. Can y'all see that? 
Maybe one day I'll have a better camera angle, but for now, this is what we have. Sorry. Really cute uh, stories. This one was a really fun story. She enjoyed this one. This is what this was one of the last books she she was reading from this level, and you can see there's more um, a lot more words to read, bigger words. She liked this story. This one was a really fun one. She really enjoyed this one. She kept going back to read this one. She, she just liked the pictures in this story and she liked the story. It was easy to read for her and she enjoyed that one. This one also, she enjoyed this one. And this one, I remember her going back to this one and reading it. Okay, so same, um, same process for the, the workbooks. Just one lesson every single day and they start adding um, the ING sounds, the ER, the LY, ES, and ED uh, endings on this workbook level. And it does say first grade level two workbook, first grade level one workbook. And obviously she started with this one and then we moved on to see here's the story she had, she had to read after she finished this lesson. And there's the sticker where she completed this lesson and then she moved on to the next one. Very, very simple, easy, um, reading curriculum to follow and they do pick up fairly, fairly easily, fairly quickly. And here's level two. Here we have blends coming in. We got blends, we got, we got the SH sound over here on this side. We got the TH sounds. They get also helping words that they get to learn and memorize and all that fun stuff. More stories to read. So we finished this one and now she's finishing up the second grade level to move on to something different next school year. So let me show you that. We're, we're, we're gonna finish that one this summer. So here's second grade level two workbook. It's got all the stories. The other books that she gets to read. You can see Smart Shark. This book is broken. She's interested. She wants to read this one. This one. She hasn't gotten to this one yet, but she looked. She was going through the books and she thought this one was going to be interesting. The Puppy Look, Shoes in the Night, The Swish Smacker, Dirt Hacker. Okay, so again, very. Uh, the same uh, process. She's working on level on the level one workbook right now, so I have it in her other books. But it's the same thing. They introduce a new a new sounds or letters. Like this one will have the W R, the K N, soft C and G, and so she will learn it through one lesson a day. This one also comes with two DVDs or two yeah two DVDs to play games and learn more. And here we have combinations of the OU sound and the OW sound. And so all this she will be going through before the summer is over and then she'll be done with the second grade level and she'll be ready to move on to uh, third grade stuff next school year. So this is what we use for Gloria's reading curriculum. Um, I would if I still had more children to teach to read, I would totally use this one again. It was very simple and easy to use, not just for her, but for me as a homeschooling mom, especially because when I got this, it was, this was my first homeschool year. And everything's here. I don't remember exactly how much I paid for this, but I did go to their website and they have different uh, packages and they can go anywhere from uh, depending on if you just want to get one box like one level uh, I want to I don't remember there were probably $89 or something like that but the whole box set the one I got also came with a spelling hooked on phonics and um, the only thing I did give that one away because we didn't use it I thought I had it here but I gave that one away um, but it was a full box set with the unlimited uh, time to unlimited use of the app. Um, I believe it was like 180, but it lasted us through her whole uh, pre-K to second grade level. We just took our time with it, 
and uh, she is reading and we're just gonna finish up the second grade level this summer and she'll be ready to move on to some other things. So that is what I wanted to share with you today. I will put the link to the Hooked on Phonics website in the description box below so you all can see it. We are gonna be closing the chapter on this one. Like I said, this is probably the, this is the one curriculum that I've used since we first started homeschooling that I had not changed, that I have not had to change because it just worked so well. It was so easy to use, one lesson a day. Sometimes we would just do one page a day when she was a lot younger just because her attention span was not the best. It wasn't the greatest. She wasn't ready yet to sit down through a whole lesson. And my patience level wasn't ready yet to sit down through a whole lesson because I had two other kids that I was just learning how to homeschool. So I had to take it at my pace too. That's one tip that I will give any homeschool, new homeschool mom. It's not just about going at the pace of your children, but it's also understanding and realizing what is your pace and what pace can you go at to homeschool your kids and have the patience and, and have it and enjoy the process of homeschooling your babies because it can get very, very frustrating and overwhelming when you are trying to go at the pace as other people that you might see either on social media or you hear or you see, or what you think should be the pace um, that you should be going if you compare yourself to either the public school system or other other homeschool families it's so different everybody's different you're in a different season I'm in a different season at that time I was just starting to homeschool I had no idea what I was doing and I learned really early on that I needed to learn to go and accept to go at my pace at the patience level that I had and learn as I went and ask God for the grace and for more patience but we got through this whole curriculum and this this I love this hooked on phonics it's probably I, I would recommend it if you need it a reading curriculum this could take you from pre-k all the way to second grade and uh, you can throw in some more reading stuff other supplements but this was what we use for Gloria and like I said I mentioned it in another uh, video that it aligned very well with spelling you see especially because when she started spelling you see she also started this curriculum so as she's learning to spell the short a sounds she was actually learning the short a sound in her reading so she was spelling it and reading it at the same time and then but right now she's learning the blends and the sh sound with the reading and then also in the in the spelling you see she's also being introduced to those letters combined to spell words and she's learning to spell those kind of words so it just lined up very well for us you might want to look into spelling you see if you want to use this this it just really lined it up and it really reinforces what she was learning in reading it reinforced it as she was learning it in spelling so just thought I'd let you know uh, we probably won't be using spelling you see next year We'll be using something different. We're just going to move on and explore some other things. But this holds really dear to my, to me, really dear to my heart because it just really showed me a lot about being patient and what Gloria could learn. And, and she just enjoyed the books, the stories, the pictures were really colorful and bright. And so she really loved putting that sticker on the you did it after she finished the lesson. So that is it for today friends I'll, again I'll link the website in the description box below so you can take a look at what they have to offer it's been about what four or five years I'm not sure I can't do my math right now but I'm sure things have changed I was going I actually went through the website to see and it looks like they're labeled differently uh, as far as the levels I don't think they have great levels anymore but they're leveled uh, each book is a level so it's level one level two all the way to level eight if I'm not mistaken so I think they took the grade out because everybody learns at such a different pace parents teach at different paces and that's okay so check it out if you have any questions uh, on how I used it or anything else just put them in the comments and I'll be sure to get back to you Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. I'll see you all next time.